welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel welcome before I hop into the actual topic of the video I want to remind you guys that I have a huge giveaway up on the channel right now it is ending in two days so on August 18th it is done guys it is 650 plus dollars worth of product including not one but two boxes of Shakeology so that is two months worth of Shakeology something you guys know I love so that giveaway is live I will link the video below it's also like one of my most recently uploaded videos so check that out and be sure to enter next I guess I need to point out first of all the exposure might be a little bright here but I am playing with the settings on my camera because the lighting was very blue tone the custom balance was off the white balance so I went and fixed all that you know just Bear with me as I work out the details. But I wanted to let you guys know why it's been so long since I've uploaded a video. It has been three weeks and I feel kind of awful, but I've had to tell my mind, like let go of the guilt. So bottom line, I guess the biggest reason I haven't uploaded in a while is because I've just been dealing with some kind of like health issues. I, for a while, probably the past month and a half, I have been really, really, really like stupid exhausted. And I'm talking to the point where I couldn't get through my days. I was exhausted. I went from being a person who never takes naps, I can't even fathom taking naps when the, when the sun is out, to taking two naps a day. I couldn't do the simplest task, like clean my house and feeding my dogs was a chore. Taking care of my children was hard work because not only was I exhausted, it was summer break and I was out of the house with the kids every day. So it just, honestly, I didn't, I, that's all I could tell you is I did not have the energy to do a video, to edit the videos, to film them, to move stuff around, to fix the lighting. It just was too much in my mind. I don't want to go too deep into it, but you know, people are telling me you have this or you need this or you need to stop doing that. And honestly, I don't know what is wrong with my body. I'm working with it. I'm working with my chiropractors and my massage therapist and my doctor to figure it out. So I'm figuring it out. But what you haven't seen is even though I haven't uploaded a video, there is a lot of work going on behind the scenes, which again, very difficult to do when you're feeling that level of exhaustion, but I have hired on people. I have been working on design and working on future projects, and I have a lot of fun video ideas coming up, and I know you guys really, really want to see like what I eat in a day, videos like that, but even just the exhaustion has made it to where I have to clean my house in spurts almost, which just sounds horrible, but that, it's bad, guys. So it's like the thought of doing videos like that and moving from shot to shot and room to room and, and cleaning up the mess that's left behind afterwards has just been overwhelming and I just haven't tackled it. But I have been keeping pretty consistent on my blog, which I told you guys, I'm much more active on that now. I kind of let go of Facebook, I was over it and I moved everything to my blog. So there are blog posts going up just about two, three times a week usually. Um, and those are still hard to do. It's hard to be up, hard to stay up at night getting those edited, taking pictures and stuff, but it just is less daunting than filming videos. So the blog has been very active. I would love, 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 love you guys to follow my blog. I will put the blog love and link below so you can click follow and be notified of new posts. There's going to be a lot of fun content on there as well, guys, and I have a lot of blog features coming up. So I would really appreciate if you guys followed me over there and see what we have to offer that's different than the videos. <laughs> also, in case you can't tell, I got another haircut. It's kind of like, this is like fourth day hair now. Um, <laughs> but I just, the cut that I had before was awful. Long story short, my hair girl moved. Somebody else cut my hair, gave me exactly what I said I didn't want. Now my hair girl is back and she's working with me and fixing it. So I basically tell her that I just want a cut that I can wake up in the morning and go the messier the better. So I'm constantly like looking like I <laughs> rolled out of bed. Um, so I did, I got my hair cut again. So that's exciting. It feels really awkward filming videos again. I feel like I'm awkward, but it's been a while. It always feels like a brand new experience every time you take a bit of an extended break from it. Last topic I want to touch before getting on to like the meat 
that's ironic, the meat of this video, a lot of people have been asking me to do a house tour. Guys, my house is a really, really, really slow process. It's kind of something that projects are getting done in between things and this is the busiest time of the year for us so we just built our breakfast nook um, over that way which I actually photographed and put on my blog I'm gonna be doing that reveal soon over on the blog so it's just a really slow process and when I feel like something has actually happened and we're making progress um, then I might do a house tour but for now it's not even worth it I, I will stick maybe to some photos <laughs> some photo updates, so follow the blog for that as well. But jumping into the main topic of this video, I don't wanna keep, I don't wanna make it long, it's just like a quick update on my vegan plant-based diet change. So it has been, oh goodness, I don't even know, I should have like looked at that. I don't know how long it's been since I made the video announcing that I was switching to more of a plant-based diet, cutting out all animal products. Um, and in that video, I kind of said like it's not something I'm doing like full force I'm just gonna kind of play with it. I'm not gonna stress out if I have you know bread that's made of eggs here or you know just I wasn't stressing it But I wasn't going out of my way to have meat for dinner or to have eggs and I can say now That a few months later, I'm pretty much I would say I'm a, a hundred percent vegan I have kicked the sushi habit I have had sushi once within the past probably three months, so there is that, um, but I have cut out like any kind of bread that's made with eggs and stuff like that. I definitely am not eating meat. I have cut out fish, um, and it's been difficult at times, you know, like we went to a sports bar the other day, and the only thing I could eat on the menu was broccoli, rice, and french fries. So. Some places it's difficult to find meals that are vegan, especially breakfast places. My husband, we live in the South, and breakfast in the South is just very, it's like meat and potatoes, um, eggs, and I don't eat any of that. So I end up going to the breakfast areas or the breakfast restaurants and just getting like a plate of potatoes. So there is that, but at home, I've been sticking to my vegan diet. I have been trying to experiment with vegan like protein sources for the children so I have been adjusting their diet a little bit um, and just trying to like incorporate more of what I eat into their diet as well. But anyways, that is kind of the update on that. To close off this video, I wanted to share with you guys two books that have made my transition into the vegan lifestyle much, much easier. These are books that people recommended to me. They, be, they came highly recommended by people when I first announced that I was making that transition. Um, so I wanted to share them with you because they've just made it so much simpler and way less overwhelming than I thought it was going to be. And the first one is Deliciously Ella. She has a blog, she has multiple books. This is actually the first book that I did buy because it is so basic. Like it tells you how to make the most basic foods. It kind of breaks down what you should always have in your pantry, things that she always has in her fridge. So I ate meals from this book probably like for the first month and a half that I made the switch and it was all I ate and just a really good book. There's all sorts of different kind of meals, you know, breakfast and appetizers like any cookbook and then, but it's fun because in the back it has like, hey, you want to put on a picnic, a vegan picnic, here are the combinations that work great for that. So just a really, really great vegan cookbook for beginners. And then there is Thug Kitchen. This book, beware, it is a little vulgar. Um, if you are not somebody that likes cursing at all, this is not gonna be the book for you. It says here, eat like you give a you know what. Um, but I liked, the reason I picked up this book is because I'm trying to transition my husband more into a vegan diet because he does eat a ton of meat. He feels like he needs it. When he doesn't eat meat, he says he doesn't feel satisfied, he doesn't feel full no matter how much he eats. So I figured I would get a book. This book is kind of like, hey, we're the book. If you want to eat real shit, we are the book to follow because it's 
I want to say it's like man food, but that's just like awful. You know, it's not a book for a man, obviously, but it's like the food that you typically think of like hearty, filling, just like good, tasteful food. This makes you maybe think more of like, oh hey, you know, vegans, we're rabbits and it is what it is. We don't eat a lot of great food, even though you do, but it's kind of like the image that it gives off. And this one is like, you know what, you want to be vegan, we're going to make it so tasty that you're not even going to be able to tell you have given up meat. So. Those two books have been a huge staple in my home. I love them. They, the foods are delicious. Highly, 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 highly recommend those. And that's kind of it for the update. I really don't have a whole lot else to say. I just kind of wanted to get a video up for you guys telling you where I've been, telling you about um, you know, my vegan update and whatnot. Sorry that it's not like the best video, but I think I'm ready to start filming other videos. I have a little bit of energy back. I'm treating my body really well, so I think there are things in the work. Please stick with me. It'll be a bumpy ride, but it will be good for sure, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.